Number one, number one, what is this? Geometry, geometry, sketches the baby of the radar. Hello guys, welcome to this video. It's very recommended for you if you watch our previous video tutorials. Because this SOLIDWORKS tutorials video series is for anyone who aiming really wants to understanding the system and process of the basic lessons about how to using SOLIDWORKS, not only memorize the step by step. In this video, we will learning about SOLIDWORKS sketching for beginner. There's divided into few segment including 1. What is a sketch? 2. How to create a new sketch? 3. How to create a sketch geometry 4. What is a sketch geometry relations? 5. What is a sketch status underdefined, fully defined, or overdefined? 6. What is an impact of relations, dimensions and positions in a sketch? And, 7. How to change the sketch into 3D geometry with extrude feature. Okay, to learn all topics about SOLIDWORKS sketching for beginners, we will divide it into two videos. In the first video about SOLIDWORKS sketching for beginners, we will learn point number 1 to 4. And in the second video, we will learn point number 5 to 7. Okay, let's start the lesson. Number 1. What is a sketch? Sketch is the base of 3D modeling in SOLIDWORKS. In another words, sketch is the base profile of 3D geometry that we created. In SOLIDWORKS we can find two types of sketch. 2D sketch and 3D sketch. In this video we will learn and focus in 2D sketch first. Number 2. How to create a new sketch Okay, before we start we can create a new part file first. Click New and click Part then click OK or double click the part icon. Now, we are already in the part window. Listen, in real life before we creating a drawing, we should have a paper or a canvas as a drawing medias. As same as when we create a 2D sketch in SOLIDWORKS, we will need a sketch media too. We can see at the Feature Manager Design Tree. We can see there's Front Plane, Top Plane and Right Plane. That is the main media for sketching in SOLIDWORKS. In real life, if we want to drawing, first we put our paper or canvas in the right place before we start. If we using paper as a drawing media, we can place it on the table. Or, if we using canvas as a drawing media, we can place it on the canvas stand. This is our preparation before drawing. After the preparation was done, we can start drawing on that medias. As same as when we are want to create a sketch in SOLIDWORKS, we must choose our media first. In this case one of the three main planes, front, right or top planes. After that, we activated sketch feature on the plane that we choose. This is the preparation before we create a sketch in SOLIDWORKS, or in short before we start to sketching. We must activate the sketch feature first. How to activate the sketch feature? The basic step that we can use is First, we should click one of the three main plane as a sketching media. Then, click the sketch icon over there. Now, we are ready to create a new sketch. The signal if we are on sketch position, we can check our status bar. The status bar showing editing sketch notification, that means now we are on sketching position. And look! at the right top corner of graphic area showing exit edit sketch icon. That's mean we are on sketch position right now. Okay, after we are on the sketch position, we will learn about basic of the sketch geometry. As we can see here in the sketch command manager, 
There's so many choices of sketch geometry, like line, circle, rectangle, slot and else. Number 3. How to create a sketch geometry. Okay, we can start our sketching lesson today with line, sketch geometry. Go to the sketch command manger and click line icon to activate that command. After we click the line icon, we can drag our pointer on the graphic area. As we can see, our pointer changed with a line icon beside it. That's mean, when we click the pointer, we will create a line. The icon that appears beside our the cursor. It can be varies based on the features or commands what is currently active. This is called as solid work system feedback like what we already learned in the previous fundamental video. Now, click in the graphic area like this. As we can see that the line that we created is continuous lines. Here, we call it polyline. Now, click and hold the left button mouse. Then drag and release like this. As we can see that the line that we created is just a single line. We call it single line. So, there's two line sketching method in SolidWorks, polyline and single line. But in the few next lessons, we will almost always using polyline method to create a line geometry. Okay, after creating the line geometry, we can deactivate our line commands with click OK in the property manager. Or right click in the graphic area. Then click select to make our cursor back to normal without any icons beside it. Or, push the escape button on the keyboard. Number 4. What is a sketch geometry relations? Look our sketch model. We will adjust this sketch geometry into rectangle shape. To adjust the sketch geometry to get the shape that we want, we need to add a relations between the sketch geometry. Okay, let's start. We will add the relation on this line. We want to make this line vertical. To do that, we can click the line that we want to make vertical. Then we can see there's sensitive toolbar appears after we click the line. And there's three option appears on the top of toolbar that appear. Make horizontal, make vertical and make fixed. This option's called relations in SolidWorks. This option is same as with the options that appears in Property Manager in the Add Relations box. As we can see that there's vertical option appear with bolded text than the others. This is means the system give us a recommendation about relations that match with the sketch geometry that we choose. In this case the system recommends us to use vertical relation for that line that we click. And this is same with our need to make the line to be vertical line. So, click the vertical relations icon. After we click the vertical relations icon, that means we already add the vertical relation on that line. See the line that we click change into a vertical line. Now, click the line that we already add relations on it. As we can see that, there's a little box appears beside the line. This is the icon of vertical relations that we added before. Okay, now click the bottom line. We will create the bottom line sketch into a horizontal line. Then click the horizontal relation to make the bottom line change into a horizontal line. After that we don't want to add a vertical or horizontal relations in the two remaining sketch line. We will try the others relations on that lines. 
We will create this line to be parallel than the vertical line that we created before. To make these two lines become a parallel lines, we can add a parallel relations between them. Click this line. Then push Ctrl button on our keyboard. And click the vertical line. This method is a general selection method to select two or more items. Okay, after we select the two line sketch geometry, the relations dialog box show use many relations that we can use for these lines. As we want to make these lines parallel, so we can click the parallel icon relations. Now, the last line sketch geometry that we will adjust is the top line. We will create this top line to be perpendicular with the right vertical line. Click the top line sketch geometry. Then push the control button. And click the right vertical line sketch geometry. Choose and click the perpendicular relations icon. Okay now we are already have a right sketch geometry with rectangle or shape. And we already add the relations for all of the lines to make it rectangular shape. So the conclusion is, we can adjust the shape of sketch geometry with adding a relations between them. To adding a relation for sketch geometry, we can choose and click the sketch geometry then click the relations that we want for our sketch geometry. Okay, we can click wherever on the graphic area to free the selection and to make your cursor to normal again. Okay guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you can more understanding about the sketching in SolidWorks. If you think this video can be benefits for the others, please share this video. Don't forget to support us with subscribe to our channel and watch our videos. See you in the next video.